All right, YouTube, uh, welcome to uh, part two of the uh, HU-162 uh, 10 cut leashy on uh, you know, picking, decoding, and cutting a key. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, uh, there's a link in the top right corner to go check that out on how to uh, actually use the leashy tool. Uh, in this part two, we're going to actually take the data we got from the leashy, which is right here, and we're going to use it to actually cut a key. So since we've got our data from the leashy, we're going to jump into the Xhorse app and connect to our machine. We cut by bidding, HU162, and we are working with the 10-4-4. And what we want to do here is actually hit all keys lost, which gets us to our calculator. And we're doing door to get the ignition here because we just picked the door lock. And the data that we got from the lock was 324122. And then we need to also calculate the side bidding. Now, uh, before picking, we had 90, 60, 90, 90. So 90, 60, 90, 90. And after picking, we had 30, 30, 60, 60. And we hit OK and we'll hit Calculate. And this actually will convert all that information into what we need to actually produce a key. So now that we've uh, calculated it all, we can just hit Complete. And our bidding is loaded in there. And it's going to tell us uh, B clamp tip position 3. And we're going to cut the A axis first. Uh, if you cut the side cuts first, the key doesn't sit in the jaw very well. So you definitely want to cut the, uh, the, you know, the A axis, or what I would call kind of the normal part of the key first here. So got our key seated in the tip position three. And we're going to go ahead and hit cut. All right, there's side one. And make sure we get all our chips off the key here. And load it in, cut side number two. All right, so now we've got our A axis cut. So now we're gonna just load the key in on its side here. And we'll cut the B and the C axis. So you make sure it sits uh, all the way flat in there. And again, it's uh, line number three or tip position three. And I'm gonna jump back in the app here. I'm gonna switch axis. So we're on the A axis. So we're gonna go to the B axis. All right, so there's our B axis. Now we'll go ahead and flip it around one more time here. And we'll cut our C axis. So once again, uh, tip position three. And we'll jump back in the app here and hit uh, C axis. All right, so there's our C axis cut. And uh, now we should have a working key here. So we'll go ahead and we'll test it out. And these keys will actually only go in the lock uh, one way. Uh, so if we put it in, I think this is gonna be upside down here. Yeah, it gets stuck right there, it won't go in. So don't force it, just flip it around. And when it's uh, cut the right way, it will go all the way in. And we do have a working key. So that is how you use the HU162 10 cut leashy to uh, pick and decode and then actually uh, produce a working key. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'll put them in the comments. I try to answer the questions on it. Um, really, I guess uh, that's all we got for this one. We'll all talk to everybody later.